Putting a target back into its skin. Putting, doing my head in a weekend, putting a tiger back into its skin. Putting the tiger back into its skin. Is that talking about the defender or the attacker? No. Oscar since they came up with this analogy many years ago uh, when he was very concerned about the direction of karate globally with this preoccupation of competition, preoccupation of commercialism, and he was very concerned. <laughs> He spent from 1973 till 1988 traveling, traveling extensively through China, Japan, Taiwan, Malaysia, the Philippines, researching and training the origins, the lethal origins of karate. And he put all that research and training back into his kata. So that's, that was his goal. I think each each martial arts system has an operating has an operating system within it, and that is really dependent on the philosophy um, and the intelligence of the person in charge. And his his operating system was uh, very philosophical and very academic, in that he wanted to preserve something that he thought was uh, very good for um, for generations to come, and that is. The training of karate, he saw that as a very worthwhile tradition, and it's our it's our responsibility. Hopefully, you you'll embrace it to to continue that continue that tradition. Particularly if you feel that you've got gotten something out of it, as I do, I'm very more than happy to um, to continue the tradition. And I hope there'll be people in the next generation that will um, take the baton. Thank you. So. Uh, um, I was just he used to get very excited when he found new things. And I went to Japan in 1982 or 83, I think. And as soon as I arrived, he was jumping up and down. He'd just been to Chenjiao-go, which is the Chen village, the birthplace of, of Tai Chi. And he just, uh, he just discovered uh, a little village just out of Chenjiao-go, actually, where they were still practicing the Chen-style cannon fist. And he just thought it totally epitomized the direction he'd like to see Goju Ru going. And he was really excited. He learnt this 38 form Tai Chi and um, was very sophisticated. And he taught it to me over five weeks. Five weeks <laughs> I stayed there. Till he, I think he learned it in about seven minutes. <laughs> but it took me. Uh, so, I'll, I'll sh um, so I'd like to dedicate this, this section of the chant to him and to you.